Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Rise and Shine. In Luke 22, 31, this is what Jesus said, and he's talking to his disciples, and, he, and especially Peter, and this is what he says. Simon, Simon, listen, Satan has asked excessively. That word excessively should really shock us. Excessively. That all of you be given up to him out of the power of my keeping, that he might sift all of you like grain. You see, the devil wants to take and shake us. He wants to take us and shake us, and whatever comes out, he doesn't want much to be left over. He just wants to shake us, turn us upside down, turn your world upside down, put your emotions upside down, put pain on you. This is what the devil wants to do every day that we wake up, every day. But you know, when Satan starts to sifting, I want to make sure what comes out of me is the smell of Jesus. I want to make sure that what comes out of me is the smell and what's left over is my faith that rises above what the devil could do to me. And when he starts sifting you, make sure that what comes out is the sin of Jesus. Make sure what comes out is your faith that's overwhelming. Because when we stand in faith and we stand in the joy of God in our lives, and when we stand when we stand for Jesus in our faith and, and, the, and the mercy that God gives us every day and the strength that God gives us every day, you're going to come out smelling like Jesus. You're going to smell so good the devil is going to run. He's going to run from you because he can't shake you and sift all of you because there's so much of Jesus in you that's left in you. So much that overwhelms the devil. You see, Jesus in the next verse in 32 says, says, uh, I want to, he says, when I'm going to pray for you, Peter. And when I pray for you, I want you to, when, and when you turn, meaning when you turn from this, when you turn from your depression, when you turn from your lack, when you turn into joy, when you turn this situation around, he says, remember, strengthen and establish your brethren. So you see, whatever happens to you, and you go through this trial where he's shaking your whole world, Remember, when you get out of it and you're stronger than ever, you turn around and you strengthen some of the people you know that have been going through the same thing. You strengthen someone else in love and in peace. You encourage their faith to rise above. So let's pray. Oh, Heavenly Father, when Satan sifts me, I know you give me so much strength. You give me the power to rule over Satan that all I have to do is rebuke him in your holy name. That you put more on me with your anointing, with your peace and your joy and your strength than the devil could ever take away. I thank you, sweet Jesus, that you are a mighty God and you live in me. And your power is he who is in me is greater than he who is in the world. So when he starts sifting you, make sure you're smelling real good. You're smelling like Jesus. Amen and amen. I'll see you next tomorrow.